All right, hello everyone. Welcome to Wellness and Faith with Sherry Weary. This is our live edition. I'm actually currently live in the Self Care for Black Girls group on Facebook. If you're interested in joining, I will uh, put the link in this video for those of you who are watching this on YouTube. Uh, while I wait for everyone to join, I'll just give a quick introduction and then we'll jump right into the discussion for today. So I'm Sherry Weary and I am the CEO, founder, and empowerment strategist of Weary Consultations, LLC. I also work for the RS Counseling and Wellness Center with Sharia Farmer, who is the um, host of this group, and she is the executive director and lead therapist there. It's awesome work that the center does. If you would like to know more about the RS Counseling and Wellness Center and all the work that we do there, you can go to rswellness.org. Um, I will actually go ahead and do announcements, and I'll repeat the announcements at the end as well. Um, in addition to doing uh, this um, broadcast on Sundays, Sheree and I actually go and do joint broadcasts on Thursdays and Saturdays here in the group. You can register for the Thursday broadcast um, with a link, and I'll put that in the link in the video for those of you who are watching this on YouTube as well. But on Thursdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do a free virtual support group. Uh, we started this actually back in like March or April, just in light of just everything that was going on uh, with the pandemic. And then here in the U.S., um, it just became even more necessary as we saw just racial tensions and racial issues just come to the forefront because of, you know, different things that was going on um, here as well. And so that support group is an opportunity for us to come together to talk about not only current events, but to talk about other things and related to making sure that we are staying well and that we're taking care of ourselves and to get great tips when it comes to emotional, mental, physical, um, and even social and relational a wellness as well. And then on Saturdays, we do a, a Small Business Saturday business uh, broadcast where we give you tips of how to start a business and how to grow and maintain your business as well. If you have missed any of those uh, videos, you can just scroll back to the group to be able to see those. And then for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, um, I will figure out a way to um, actually post the videos here on my channel so that you all can get the information as well. All right, so we are now going to just jump right into the topic for today. So the way that I do the Wellness and Faith broadcast uh, is that I do two parts. So the first is our hashtag moment where I talk about a specific phrase. And so that is actually our hashtag moment. Um, our first one a few weeks ago was Against All Odds. Uh, our current hashtag moment is, or the theme rather, is Keep the Faith. So that's what we'll be discussing today. And then for the second part of the video, I give you a dose of spiritual wellness, which is usually one of three tips for you to keep in mind um, as you go throughout your week. Okay, so with the hashtag moment, we are currently in this series talking about keeping a faith. And in the description of this video, the topic that I had um, related to that is that keeping a faith when prayers go unanswered. So I want to actually use Hannah as our biblical example and talk about how we can apply that to our own lives in today's current um, situations when it comes to personal issues and societal issues and everything else in between. Okay, so just as a brief overview, um, as far as what or who Hannah is. So Hannah is a person from the Old Testament. She was married um, to, and to her husband and his, her husband actually had two wives. So Hannah was one of two wives. The other wife actually was able to have children. Hannah was not. She was um, actually barren and subsequently she was not happy about that because she did want to have children. But what made it even worse is that her husband's second wife who actually actually tease her and taunt her about the fact that she didn't have children. And so her husband, you know, noticed that she was just always so sad. And so he asked her just what's going on, you know, because he even gave her extra food, you know, when they would go and do sacrifices and things of that nature. And he made sure to look out for her because he did truly love her. Um, and he didn't love her less just because of the fact that she was not able to have children. And so she decided to go into the temple or the sanctuary um, one day to just pray and just to cry out her heart 
to God and to beg to have a child. And she promised that if she had a son, that she would actually give him back to God to work in a temple and to be part of the service. Long story short, God answered her prayer. Uh, she did end up having a son and her son actually ended up being one of the Old Testament prophets, Samuel, who now were able to read the Bible. And there's two books that are named after him. So you have first and second Samuel. Okay, so throughout that whole situation, um, it was frustrating for Hannah because of the fact that she had been praying and asking God to give her a child. And it wasn't, it didn't seem like God was listening. It seemed like he cared because of the fact that year after year, she would not um, actually become pregnant and then give birth to a child. And in our own lives, whether it's, you know, as women, some of us may desire to have children and, you know, maybe we're having some fertility issues, you know, and related to that. But there can be other things that we could be praying to God about out for several years and it can seem like God is not hearing us and that he doesn't care. And so with that is that you don't want to give up. Even when it seems like God doesn't care, you want to remember that he is your source. You want to keep praying to him because ultimately God will um, definitely give us what we need. And then the Bible even talks about God giving us the desires of our heart. Now with saying that, the desires of your heart are being granted that it's not a carte blanche, uh, it's not a free pass to use Jesus as or God as a genie in a bottle. That's not what that's about. Really, it's that like you get the desires of your heart when your heart are, is aligned with God's will. And then what you're asking is in uh, alignment with his will. So then that's when you see the manifestation of what you're asking for now being manifested in your life. And so just like with Hannah said, you don't want to give up, you know, no matter when it seems like that God is not answering your prayers, you still want to keep praying. You still want to keep faith and you still want to keep trusting in God because eventually, like I said, he will give you the answer that you need. And so with the dose of spiritual wellness um, related to that, I want to just point out three points. So first, you got to remember who your source is. No matter what your circumstances look like around you, no matter how crazy or intense or frustrating um, it may be, no matter how upset you may be because of what's happening around you, you got to remember that God is your source. It's not your talent. It's not your skill. It's not your situations. It's not your boss who may be giving you a hard time at work. It's not your family member or spouse or significant other who may be uncooperative right now. Um, it's not just your accolades. It's not your network. Even though all of those things could be great, it's not your business acumen. Really, um, your source is God. And so you got to remember who your source is and that's who you have to depend on. That's who you go to in your time of need. Uh, the second thing, you got to remember that God can do the impossible. You know, despite how impossible it may look, God is still able. There's no issue or problem that exceeds beyond the understanding of God and his ability and his power. You know, even the Bible tells us that what's impossible with man is possible with God. And so you have to remember that all things are possible with God. And then our third dose of spiritual wellness um, is that you have to um, trust in God's timing. It can be so frustrating, you know, when you're going through life and you expect things to happen at a certain time frame or for things to happen, you know, hey, by 25, I'm going to do this. Or by 30, I want to do this. By 40, I want to have A, B, C, D, E, F, G done, right? And then now you're 45 and you're like, oh my goodness, what has happened? Um, but no matter how long that you may have to wait on even having a manifestation of your desires, of your prayers, is that you got to trust God's timing. that God, he doesn't just know what you desire, but he also knows what's down the road. He holds time in his hand. He knows the future. So he knows the, the beginning and the ending of what you desire. And he knows everything that's going to happen in the entire universe, even before it happens. And so because he has a knowledge of so many other things in particular that even affects us that we don't have, like we don't have the capacity to be aware of everything that's happening in this higher universe. Universe. We also don't have the understanding or the knowledge to even know how everything is going to play out in our lives, more or less in the lives of this, all those around us. God already holds all of those pieces. He knows all of those pieces. He knows all the information. And so that's why his time it gets perfect is because he knows all and he knows the exact time to, see, to send us what we need and also to allow us to experience the desires that we have. So that is all for today. Um, I hope 
hope you all have an amazing rest of the day. It's such a beautiful day here. Well, at least here in the Philadelphia region. Such a nice day out. So if you have nice weather, you know, definitely take a moment to step outside and to enjoy that. Hope you have an amazing week. Remember to keep the faith, even when it seems like your prayers are going unanswered. Um, and remember to trust God no matter what it looks like. If you would like to keep in contact with me, I'm here on Facebook. You can like my Facebook business page. Um, that is Sherry C. Weary. That's where you can connect with me. Um, again, it's on my Facebook business page. Uh, and on Instagram and Twitter, you can find me at Sherry underscore Weary. And then my website is SherryWeary.com, where you can find information about, you know, all the updates concerning what I do, what I offer, and any other information that I post there. So take care. I look forward to seeing you all next week for our next um, installment of Wellness and Faith with Sherry Weary. And remember, no matter what's going on, keep the faith. All right, take care, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.